In this video, I am going to discuss the past strategy for the subject management of software systems. So, highest priority questions are from first module it is process model comparison. That is waterfall versus incremental agile model, waterfall versus spiral model, plan driven versus agile model. Then coming to module 2, it is functional versus non-functional requirements. In that, explain with an example. So you can have the example of library management system or ATM. Then from third module, it is black box versus white box testing. Then fourth module, it is risk management. Risk management process or activities. Then coming to fifth module, it is CMMI levels and software quality assurance. Describe the levels of CMMI or explain elements of SQA and SQA tasks. Now we can see the module wise questions. From first module, it is the important questions are process model comparisons as we mentioned above. Then agile development. In agile development, you can have principles of agile manifesto. Then agile and the sprint planning, etc. Then agile techniques like pair programming, refactoring. Part A questions from this module is software process activities such as specification, design, validation, and evolution. Then professional software engineering ethics. Then coming to module two, the important questions are requirement engineering process. Explain the steps. Then design concept and, uh, concepts and architectural styles. So, design in, understand the difference between architectural design and component level design. That is one question. And then briefly explain a few architectural styles. Then use cases, persona, scenarios. Use case, a simple use case diagram using an AT for an ATM machine. Then part A questions from this module is traceability metrics, structure of an SRS document. Then coming to module 3. Testing strategies, black box versus white box testing, then integration testing and validation testing. Then next question is about DevOps and CI/CD pipeline. So explain the concept of continuous integration delivery and deployment. Then review techniques, formal technical review versus informal reviews. Then part A questions from this module are open source licenses, GPL versus LGPL. Then software evolution or maintenance types, debugging strategies. Coming to module 4, risk management process, agile project management, then cost estimation, COCOMO. Then part A questions are fundamental project management activities, factors affecting software pricing, Kanban versus Scrum. Then coming to module 5, SQA and SPA. Es explain SQA tasks and software process improvement. Second question it is CMMI and ISO 9001 compare CMMI and ISO standards. Microservices and cloud. Explain the architecture of microservices and its benefits. Then explain virtualization or containers. Part A questions are software quality dilemma. Then characteristics of cloud software or microservices. So these are the module wise questions. Thank you.